What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure closet or WWE action figure clothing style episode where, you know, I got some new cloth goods through the door and I've actually had these for quite a while, which we're going to dive into. A huge shout out to my man Giovanni for the hookup on these and a huge shout out to PWR Lucha, who I think makes, personally, I think makes the best cloth goods in the game, I would say. And if you think you're better than them or whatever, man, I would like to, you know, I'd like to put it to the test. If, if anybody out there makes custom cloth goods and wants to, I really would like to order from you because I really would like to test out and see not only who makes the best or what the quality is, you know, the best bang for your buck and things of that nature. So I'd definitely be open to making a deal with somebody out there to, you know, see what you got, see some cloth goods because you guys know I'm working on the massive Cena collection. I'm always trying to expand. I have all these clothes here that I'm really excited to get into, which again, a huge shout out to my man Giovanni for providing these clothes here, man. He sent these over to us and they're going to look awesome on these fake stuff. So basically, WWE Action Figure Closet is basically where I get a bunch of cloth goods and then we kind of fix up the figures and I showcase the figures and then sometimes it's, there's a fix up so I'm kind of pissed off because a lot of this could probably be put into a surgery episode but since it's mainly cloth goods we do have a couple swaps around that I want to showcase. It is just an action figure closet episode or a, just a it's just a WWE action figure clothing episode or custom cloth goods for your action figures man so nonetheless huge shout out to PWR Lucha if you guys want to go over there and get it in order. This is where all these cloth goods do come from over on Instagram huge shout out to the man there. We're actually currently working on a deal for some more figures and the those will probably be featured on a future video like this. But nonetheless, man, we do have different clothes and different stuff going on. Now, our first shirt here is this undesirable, undeniable, uncrowned Cody Rhodes shirt right here. And the best thing about PWR Lucha is it's all Velcro-less. It's all Velcro-less, and I actually have this fix-up Cody, this Elite 101 Cody right here with gold boots and this, like, American weight belt that's different. And I think this is going to look sick as hell on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this shirt on right here. And honestly, now that I think about it. Should I go through each one and then at the end showcase it or should I just go one by one showcasing it? I'm also going to need some personal thoughts on some different stuff because I want a few opinions so you guys can let me know your thoughts down below once we get all these clothes done. So here's our Cody man looking pretty good. We'll take a closer look at all of these when we are all said and done man but I think that makes the most sense there for me personally on this Cody Rhodes figure but not only do I need some personal opinions but maybe <laughs> I don't know should I like go through each explanation and then just showcase them at the end or should I show the act of actually actually removing shirts and said what not or whatever the hell but anyways Popping this head off here. So I have like 1,700 of these top talent Roman Reigns figures or have a lot of them. And so having these different t-shirts really fixes them up. And I actually am going to be putting this ultimate gauntlet because I like the details on it and it's a more accurate red than this top talents one over here. Going to be putting that over here when it's time. But right now we're just putting the damn t-shirt on there. So how about you shut the hell up? I have a million of these head of the table shirts. I really want the white one, which is what I'm working on getting. And we're going to do some fix up Roman Reigns. But I love the fix up Roman Reigns. Can't wait for the ultimate edition. Can't wait for for 2024. I hear on the rumor mill that there's a new Roman Reigns head sculpt coming and hopefully that will turn out beautiful, but these shirts are, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're a little bit difficult to get on there sometimes, but damn, they're worth it when you get them on. So here's our Roman Reigns figure. Looking pretty good, I might say. I will say the other gauntlet's gonna look much better on here, but I love how it fits tight to the bicep. The only one right there. Then on the back, it does have another logo, I think, behind the hair. It's a little bit dusty because, again, I haven't been able to use these. They've been packed away for a while. Since the summer, I'm pretty sure, the end of the summer. So, you know, I'm finally getting these figures out and, you know, I got to get the room set up. There's tons of work to do in the office before we get that room tour up, man. I'm kind of worried. I'm not going to lie. We're pushing it. We're definitely pushing it. Like the room's not even close to done. And we're like 10, 11 days away from the room tour supposedly going up. So I got a lot of work to do. We're going to see how that comes out. But next up, we do have these, the real one shirts. Now I think these, now this one's all right. You guys can tell the difference. Look, this is the J one. This is the Jimmy one. And they're already pre-done. So we have the crop top stuff that Jey Uso likes to wear, but these are going to look sweet because I think the white red and stuff's going to tie into the white and red and the white sleeve and everything, so this look sh should look really good. So let's go ahead and see what the hell we got. Oh my god, Roman, da damn, son. Anyways, let's get these shirts on these damn figures. Dude, these look immaculate. I really like the way Jay's look because he has the cropped shirt in there, so it really stands out. And I mean, dude, when you back up, remember I painted these Jays onto this Jimmy, which is a weird thing to say, but I really wish this was the top picks Jimmy because it would have the design 
hands on the leg and things of that nature. What the hell is that figure? Hold up. All right, I see where it is. I don't know. We'll play around. We'll play around with that. This is this is the exact reason why I collect a lot of Uso figures because they're just so fun to switch around, man. They're so fun to switch around. Look at this. Look at this J right here. The red and white. The sleeve complements this so well. The rat tail, the tattoos, the Usos on the back, man. That is just nasty, man. Bloodline pants. These are disgusting. Great look right there. That looks ri just ridiculous. I love that. That is immaculate. Let's move on to the next one. We do have this CM Punk. Now, a lot of you are probably like, Brad, why aren't you putting this onto the Supreme Collection? And I can't even tell you why. I really just don't want to put a shirt on there, and this won't stain. It's got the white underbelly on it. It's not going to stain or anything. I just think the shirt would look good on this Walmart exclusive CM Punk. So that's what I'm going to do. And this one already has staining from the AEW hoodie, so let's just shut the hell up and put this on. Now, one thing that's interesting is you can uh, pop this off, and it should make for an easier way to put the shirt on, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Does it detaching the legs actually make that easier? I don't know, but let's get into it. So here is our CM Punk figure, man, and one thing that's interesting about AEW figures is since you can pop the torso away from the legs, you're able to kind of give them that tucked in shirt look, and I think that looks pretty cool. I think it looks awesome. I wish I could get these sleeves to stay up a little bit more right here, but I still I, I like this. I don't have a problem with this, and you guys know that we do have like hoodies and all kinds of stuff with the Supreme. I just, I don't know if I trust it to not stain the figure, but I like the way the CM Punk looks. I think it looks pretty damn good. Can't wait to put them over there on the shelf in the CM Punk section, which you guys will get a better look at in our room tour. But now we're on to probably the fix-up and the figure that I was most excited about putting the clothes on and getting all the stuff going on. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. First of all, we do have another Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns right here. So in my collection, I don't have any Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns with a shirt off because I just think it looks horrific, especially just with that torso. It just looks awful. It doesn't look good. It's not. It's just not a good look for the guy. So when we get the new Ultimate, that, that will that will change. I'll leave that figure shirt off and different stuff like that, but I have many uh, Ultimate Roman Reigns figures in my collection, but getting this, we are making another tracksuit Roman. Now, I went on a toy hunt the other day and found the new Basic Wave with Austin Theory, Seth Rollins, I think Ali is in that set. I found this Roman Reigns figure with this, this man bun head sculpt. Now, this is the closest thing we have to the tapered beard modern Roman Reigns that I've been asking for years, so hopefully we will get that very soon in 2024, but I'm making a black tracksuit Roman to go with our white tracksuit Roman and our red tracksuit Roman. So we're going to have a lot of different looks here for Roman Reigns. I love collecting his figures. Just like the Usos, he is very fun to fix up and make, you know, different creative looks that he wears to the ring. And plus, he's the MDT champion, which, you know, he doesn't get to rock it a lot on MDT television nowadays. But soon enough, he will be able to, and I'll be able to mix and match and do different stuff because I created the Bloodline well before WWE and was booking them strong and as champions before they even had them even together on television. So here we go, man. What we're going to do is we are going to remove this shirt first. Wait, no, we're not, you dumb idiot. We're leaving this shirt on there. We're leaving this shirt on there, you jackass. And then we're going to pop this ultimate head sculpt off. I'm going to pop that off now. Okay, this is where the other Roman Reigns comes in. So now there's actually a couple things we could do, and I can. Uh, this is where an opinion comes in. But now we're going to put this gauntlet and fist over on this figure because it'll look better because I don't need the gauntlet over here because he's going to have a long sleeve jacket. So this is the 1000 Day Reign Roman jacket right here. We're going to put that over this head of the table shirt. But one thing that's interesting, removing the gauntlet right here, is, I mean, does he, do I even need to put, I have jogging pants right here. Should I even put the jogging pants over or should I just leave the Roman Reigns pants on there? Because is there that much of a difference? I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to look at it and see how it goes. But I'm going to be putting this Ultimate Edition gauntlet over here because it's going to look better. Colors are going to match and it gives it more detail. So that looks pretty good over there for that Roman. Now, I'm going to go put this in the Roman Reigns drawer. We're going to remove this hand, remove this gauntlet because he doesn't need gauntlets. Pop this hand back in there and then go get us another Roman Reigns hand to put over here so that he can have the no gauntlet look. Damn this shirt. Low key should cut the sleeves off. So coming back right here, putting the fisted hand back into this Ultimate Edition there. Very good. I'm going to put those in the Roman Reigns drawer. Put the screaming head sculpt in there. Now we're going to put the Roman track jacket on here. So here's the jacket on here. Now here's the kicker. Do you just leave him like this? Or do we put the jogging pants on there so that it matches or it kind of will match our white track suit and the red track suit? I don't know. Because this doesn't match color wise. Like these are darker. But I don't know. I kind of want to put them on there and just see. You know what? F it. Let's find out. So here he is with the Mattel track pants on. And I don't hate it. I, you know, it's, it's dark. I don't think the coloration 
in real life you can kind of see it but on camera it looks pretty damn good i mean i i think that maybe the jacket could be a little bit more baggy like these two i think it may be a little bit tight but i don't know man i still like it and now the uh sort of the best part is popping off this needle mover you know head sculpt on this basic and then plopping it over here on the ultimate and boom there we go and now we have a tracksuit roman in three different colors look at that right there man that is electric. Tell me why the hell they don't do this for the Elite line, man. Give us a mainline Roman Reigns in the tracksuit. You can do sculpted pants with cloth goods jacket. Or shoot, do, give us give us sculpted arms and a... I don't know, I don't like rubber pieces, but I think they could get away with it, possibly. I don't know, man. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but I think that pretty much does it for this episode or just this uh, this action figure closet or whatever the hell. I don't even know if that what to see. It's not even really a series. It's just kind of a one-off video, and then... I'm made the one when I was away at San Diego Comic-Con and now we're here with more and I think they look really good so nonetheless I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of everything down in the comment section below huge shout out to Giovanni and PWR Lucha for the cloth goods man if you guys make cloth goods and all that man hit me up on Instagram I'd love to make a deal and see what you got or ta have a look through your catalog to see if we can maybe work a deal out just so you know I'm always again I'm always looking I want to make a lot of Cena shirts and fix ups and stuff and always liking to upgrade my figures with cloth goods I think it's one of the most underrated parts of a hobby. Or this hobby, I should say. But nonetheless, that is going to wrap up the video, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas for their continued support on the channel. Love each and every single one of you guys over there. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>